do you want to play? Moroku and Sango's chapter. I'm Miroku. I am on a journey to bring down Naraku in an effort to end the curse of the wind tunnel hand passed down to me from my grandfather's generation. I refuse to stand by and watch as Naraku uses dirty tricks and plays on people's weaknesses to carry out his evil deeds. Songo and I will do whatever it takes to defeat him. <sighs> or at least that's what I had planned to do. I am going to finish this once and for all, Koga. <laughs> what are you yapping on about, Muttface? Kagome and I love each other, so why don't you just butt out? Love each other? Yeah, what? I'll prove it. You want to fight? Would you look at that? Those two are at it again. <sighs> Let them be, Songo. It's stressful not being able to find any clues that lead to Naraku. A little scrap might not hurt once in a while. Besides, you have another woman, namely Kikyo. I won't give Kagome to a womanizer who's just like that monk there. What? Don't compare me to that lech, Moroku. Just because I hold my tongue doesn't mean you can insult me. That's it, the two of you have crossed the line. I'm gonna fix your attitude so you won't talk like that anymore. Yeah. 
Listen, you two, give up this fighting and be done with it. <sighs> he says while feeling me up. You perverted monk! I'm not gonna take this from you anymore! That's right, Moroku, you lecher. Now, wait, ladies. This wind tunnel is a horrible curse that will one day swallow me up. I don't know how long I'll live. It's a terrible burden for one man to bear, but before my inevitable demise, it's my duty to find a woman to bear my child. If you think that's going to excuse your actions, then you've got another thing coming, Moroku. Come on, Sango. Let's teach this monk a lesson he'll never forget. Say no more. Prepare to die, you insolent monk. Fight! Do you get it now, perverted monk? I'm sorry. <laughs> Moroku, I think somebody's nearby. It seems that way. Come out of there! We know you're trying to hide. Surprise. Kagra. Kohaku, why are you here? <laughs> A family fight to the death. Get going, Kohaku. Dance of the dragon! Got it! Yeah. Yeah. Dance of the dragon! 
finish you. Death to the dragon! Put up a big one. After him, Songo. Stop, Kohaku! Wait! I can smell the Raku on this boy. Don't get in my way, or I'll kill you people too, right here. That's not going to happen. Songo, we have to do whatever we can to stall him. I'll take you on, says Shomu.
Moroku, where's Kohaku? He must have gone to the castle during our fight. Let's go after him. It's all over for you, Naraku. <laughs> I'm surprised you made it this far. I'm going to put an end to my wind tunnel curse right here. Naraku, I'm going to defeat you and take my brother Kohaku back. You're through. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> go. Go. Sonzo, please. Sonzo, please. I got a lot to learn. Go. Here I come. Well, Naraku, it ends here. <laughs> you actually think you've won? I'll show you the destruction I'm capable of. All right, Songo. This is it. Can you keep going? Yes, Moroku. Let's go. <laughs> Can't 
me! You! Get ready! <laughs> Kilala, here we go! The wind tunnel, it actually disappeared. We... we did it, Moroku! I have finally broken my cursed link to Naraku. So, Songo, now that we've defeated Naraku, what are your plans? It's not completely over yet. You mean Kohaku. I wonder where he went. Kohaku... Say, Songo, why don't we journey together? Huh? And that way we can look for your brother Kohaku as we travel. I'm certain we will eventually be able to find him. Are you sure you're okay with that, Moroku? Yes, of course I am, Songo. Once we find Kohaku, we can find a place to live together. For all three of us. Huh? <gasps> Moroku... Do you mean... You have my promise that I will take care of you forever, Songo. Hey, get your hands off there! You idiot! Ah!